tucked away near Otay Mesa in a community one exit from Mexico's Tijuana border is a high school that houses a student athlete who already is becoming one of basketball's biggest names. <laughs> Mike is the best ninth grader I've ever seen. At 14 years old, Mikey Williams was named the best player in the nation by the Naismith National Youth All-American Report. At 15, he's turning heads at San Ysidro High School, breaking records and receiving advice from NBA superstars. I first started playing basketball, I think I was like three or four when I started playing like organized basketball. And then I've always just been in the gym since like I was a baby. So it was just kind of, you know, just part of me. When did you know you were good? Um, I kind of had always had an idea I was good, like just being out of confidence, but I really knew like I had it, um, probably say a couple years ago. The six foot three point guard is described as a calm, selfless player who commands the court with his high basketball IQ and strong vision. This season against Kearney High School, Mikey put up 77 points, breaking the San Diego section single game scoring record. A media entourage follows him from practices to games. He'll often sign autographs and take pictures for hours after the final buzzer. It's crazy. All you hear is Mikey, Mikey, Mikey. I mean, grown-ups, old people. I, I wasn't part of the Beatles, but it's like being in a rock band. A lot of people ask him for autographs. One time somebody asked him to sign their forehead. He's just a lot of pictures, a lot of autographs. The crowd goes crazy. I've known Mikey for around three, four years. Great player, great, awesome teammate. Like, you can tell some people think he's probably like, oh, popular kid or like doesn't want to talk to him. But once you get to know him, he's a friendly dude, very goofy. He lets none of this like camera stuff face him. He just wants to go hoop and do, do what he does. Mikey has already been offered college scholarships by more than a half dozen schools, including San Diego State University, the University of San Diego, and USC. While in a club league the last few summers, he found himself first playing against LeBron James' son, Bronny, and then alongside him as a teammate. Who did you grow up watching, and did you idolize anyone? Did you really want to play like anyone? Uh, LeBron James. It's, it's crazy because, you know, I used to watch him all the time, and, you know, now it's like we're family, so it's like I get to, you know, talk to him about anything and stuff like that. I just wanted to be like him so bad. But now I get to like, you know, take notes from him. And, you know, I just try to, I like the way that he carries himself off the court. He deals with a lot of things. So I really try to, you know, be like that off the court. Okay, I want to talk about that because you have some famous friends. What is that relationship like? You know, it's real special. I always say game recognized game. So we played against them. Uh, we played against Bronny. Um, I think I was 12, sixth grade at uh, Nationals, and, you know, I got to talk to him a little bit after the game, and, you know, he was just telling me, like, you know, basically, like, keep my head focused, I can, you know, be playing with him one day, this and that, and, you know, I was like, cool, blah, 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 but it didn't really hit me, you know, for like a couple weeks. And then um, the following year, I played with, I played with Bronny, so I really got to talk to, you know, I got to talk to him a lot more, you know, with just him being there, and then, you know, after that, it was just family. How crazy is that? I mean, it's LeBron James, you know? <laughs> you know? A lot of people ask me that, and it's not really, you know, crazy no more. Like, I'm not downplaying him or anything at all. Like, I just, I respect him, but, you know, just how close we are is just your family. So it's like, you know, it's kind of, you know, it's not normal for, like, the average person or individual, but, you know, just the relationship we have now. It's like, uh, it's just, I can't really, I can't really describe it. It's just kind of normal for me. That laid back attitude isn't an act, it's who Mikey is. He keeps his circle small and his dreams big. And it's why, despite the spotlight, the constant pressure of grinding toward his goals hasn't cracked him. Does it feel like pressure at all to you? From the outside looking in, you think it's a lot of pressure. Like, yo, he has to deal with a lot of things, this and that. So I love doing this, so I don't really see it as pressure because, you know, there's like, I asked for this, you know, I mean, I didn't, you know, I didn't ask for like all the fame and stuff like that. I just, I worked, I worked my butt off to just be in a position I am right now. So I would really look at it as, you know, like, as pressure like that. As good of a basketball player as he is, he's a better person. He's like an old soul, and that's his parents. At home, he fights with his brother and sister. I'm constantly yelling, like, stop, 
get a break something. It might do your laundry, you need to clean your room, uh, I need you to cook dinner tonight because I'm stuck in traffic. Um, you know, he's a regular kid. He does he doesn't get any pass. Like, I don't care. We don't care about your fame, your followers here. Like, that's what it is. Um, <laughs> but we do make sure that we don't overload him because we know that he kind of like is doing a lot more, you know, to reach his goal. But you know, we we do, you know, he he gets yelled at. <laughs> Off the court, Mikey seems like a normal 15-year-old. He likes fishing and hanging with his friends and family. Except most freshmen in high school don't have the social media following that Mikey does. You have more than a million followers on Instagram. You are 15 years old. What's it been like watching that blow up and what do you think of having such a big following? Um, you know, a lot of, you know, I'm glad that, you know, I have such a following like that. Um, I know that, you know, everybody, you know, that follows me, you know, they don't want to see me, you know, succeed. Not all of them. Yeah. Um, a lot of people want to see me fail. A lot of people would be cool with you and still want to see you fail. So that's why, kind of the way I am, where I kind of keep people at a distance. Who haven't you met that you would love to meet? You've met LeBron. Who, who else? Uh, Drake. You know, Drake follows me. He's funny. He follows me on Instagram, but I haven't, you know, I haven't him or anything yet. But it'd be cool to meet him. Casual Drake following you on Instagram. It's no big deal. <laughs> Drake may follow Mikey, but it's his parents, both exceptional athletes in their own right, who lead the way, raising Mikey and his two younger siblings in a house minutes from the high school where he plays with Coach Tucker. Change the pace, change the direction. Work on your game. Mikey's father, Malon, coached with Tucker at Crawford High School many years ago and promised him that when Mikey was old enough, he'd play for him. Malon kept his word, and the added benefit for Mikey is representing the city that he calls home. You know, I just want to put on for my hometown, you know, no matter if it's two, three, or all four years, you know, like a lot of people, they'll leave, you know, be quick to leave them before they get to high school, you know, they'll just start panicking, oh my God, I have to go to the best school in the country. You know, it'd be this and that, but it's like, uh, everything's just, everything's going good and you know, I want to put on my city. I think it's definitely loyalty. You know, we, I'm born and raised in San Diego. Um, Mainland has been in San Diego for, uh, you know, three quarters of his life. So Coach Tucker, you know, I met Coach Tucker when I was pregnant with Mike. So, you know, Terry's just like family to us. And so, you know, being able to stay in San Diego and then play with Coach Tucker, it means everything for us to be able to elevate our city, to have the platform we have and just be like, you know, bring so much attention to our city because we think it's important. We want to make sure that San Diego has something to look forward to and let the kids here know like, you know, no, like we're on the map. Mike's always been like super mature. We also have to keep in perspective, like he's a kid. So um, the driving force, like it's just him. He goes, he he just wants to train. It's it's his goal. Um, Malon and I, I think with our experiences, we're able to um, know what it's like and be sensitive to him when he starts to wear down or when we notice like, okay, son, this is what you want. So I, I'm gonna need you to uh, do better on defense. I'm gonna need you to work harder. You need to do like a few more extra jumpers because I noticed in the fourth quarter, your shot gets flat. So we keep it 100% real with them. Mikey may only be a teenager, but he realizes the road ahead of him comes with responsibility. Uh, even right now, like, you know, I'm a role model to a lot of people. So a lot of people, you know, look up to me and, you know, I affect, you know, I, I notice like I affect a lot of, you know, a lot of people like in a good way. So, you know, as I get older and you know, I, you know, things just keep getting bigger, you know, I definitely want to have a say in some things, you know, like whether it's like I want to, you know, donate money to hospitals or, you know, uh, help homeless people, or, you know, just things like that. I try to, you know, get back and sign, you know, sign autographs, take pictures, you know, like text kids back on Instagram and stuff like that, you know, just so they can have the feeling. Someday, maybe even soon, kids around the world may want to be just like Mikey. I can't really, can't really, you know, tell what the future holds. I have an idea, but, you know, just everything just pushing forward and taking no steps back. You know, I kind of just want to pave my own path. Like even a lot of, a lot of people ask like, who do you describe like your game to and stuff like that? It's like, 
who you model your game to. It's like, um, I try to take parts, you know, just like, I just naturally have parts from other people's game, but I just yeah. want to like, you know, be myself. So, you know, when people describe me, you know, a lot of guards in the NBA or big men in the NBA, you could say, oh, they played like such and such back in the day, you know, but I just want, you know, I want to be like Mikey, he's Mikey, like he's, you know, different.